to you live from Hong Kong at Rise 2018, and we're here with JP from Bitcoin Origin. How are you doing? Yeah, thanks for having me, Mecca. Very good, thanks, yeah. Awesome, man. And how are you enjoying Hong Kong so far? It's been great. It's my second time here, but it's the first time at the Rise Conference, so it's been uh, it's been quite a good experience. It's a busy place, a lot of people here, yep. um, and a lot of great projects, a lot of good talent. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. much enjoying it. Cool. And so first time in Hong Kong? It, it, it is my second time in Hong Kong, yeah, but it's okay. the first time for business. I was here on a little holiday at the end of last year, so oh, uh, wow. yeah, love See. the place. Fascinating. Nice. And just to kick it off, what's your favorite thing so far from being here? A second time. Uh, uh, well, it'll be wrong of me to say the pubs, but uh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's made pretty much the vibe. Uh, the the Hong Kong culture has got a great communication culture, so um, it's very easy to communicate, navigate your way around the city. So I'd suggest anybody that wants to come to Hong Kong, please make it a trip. Yeah, it's really really worth it. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So what what is Bitcoin Origin? So uh, Bitcoin Origin is a blockchain as a service company. Uh, we pretty much went out to launch. Uh, a blockchain as a service startup um, with native states. So um, what we decided to do is that we not decided not to run an ICO. So one of the things that, uh, that the ICO space allows you to do is to sell tokens to the community. We're not selling tokens, we're not selling anything to the community and for that um, we, we have essentially went down the path of doing a five-way multiple fork of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum and Dash. So anybody with those tokens gets to claim their free Bitcoin origin tokens. Um, it's uh, far more investor friendly on the community um, and instead of uh, where most of the other forks are focused on privacy and scalability, uh, we are more focused on blockchain as a service, bringing blockchain to the enterprise space and, and to entrepreneurs, um, uh, solving something which they call economic abstraction. Um, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much the project and uh, it's called Bitcoin uh, Origin so the community also understands uh, the, the sense that it is a fork. Um, so yeah, we pretty much have nothing to sell. We will have a snapshot date on the 28th of August um, and we're going live in exchanges probably about two weeks after that. Yeah. Okay. The, Interesting. Yeah. yeah, so for someone out there who has no clue on what the hell Bitcoin is <laughs> yeah. or the blockchain, what would be the simplest sentence or you know, rundown of what it is? And how it works? How Bitcoin origin yeah, or Bitcoin? Just in general, the technology. Yeah. So uh, I mean, blockchain is a decentralized database. Um, it uh, it's what they call immutable proof. So not to complicate the word, but uh, what it does is that you can't cheat or change something after the fact. Um, so once you have an agreement or a set structure in place of something that's happened, you can always <laughs> trace it back to that data set. Um, and that's what essentially what blockchain is. Um, uh, it, it does change a lot of industries. I think there's a lot of use case capabilities. People are still after trying to find where the use cases are. Um, but essentially it's a, it's a distributed database um, and I think it should be seen as such and whatever kind of technology you can build around that, um, uh, that is kind of where the blockchain space is going. Bitcoin as such is an electronic payment system. Um, uh, it's a, a ledger payment system and I, I, I think it's got a lot of value to real world transactions, uh, borderless payments, um, you know, uh, getting around banking systems, uh, there's a big need for that and I think uh, cryptocurrencies and specifically Bitcoin and, and your leading cryptocurrencies does solve that solution. And that's kind of why we are in the space. Um, uh, we're also not saying that we're the best or we're the new Bitcoin. Uh, we're essentially saying that we're offering blockchain as a service and uh, for that we're giving our tokens away to the community instead of um, instead of selling it through an initial coin offering. Yeah. Yep. So you're mainly focused around the technology side of it? We are. We're very much technology focused. Uh, we allow developers to easily deploy uh, dApps. We um, allow companies who want to launch their own tokens, their, their own ICOs, we allow them to, to launch a native blockchain on our platform. So. Uh, we're a very tech focused kind of startup, it's not, a, it's not a necessarily I would say consumer friendly um, although there is a tradable token um, that we have um, uh, underpinning the platform and the ecosystem and that is what Bitcoin Origin is, is essentially driving and bring to the community. Yeah. Okay great, so what would be your key objective while you're here um, for your business and um, in, in terms of the conference? 
Yeah, so uh, I mean, we, we are doing a private run fundraising um, since we're not selling to communities. And I think one of the reasons why we're here is also to promote the name. We've got a very great stand, as you can see, right in the middle of the, or right in the center yeah, yeah. front entrance of, of right. the conference. That's the traffic flow. Correct. So, uh, so it's part promotion. Um, it's, it's part uh, introducing our project to, to investors who see value in us as a team as well as the project. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the aim. Uh, there's a lot of partnerships and collaborations that happen at conferences like these and a lot of after events. Uh, it's not just uh, partying, it's also, so it's also networking. You get to meet some really good partners in here. I think that's pretty much the three-way objective that we have for the conference. Yeah. Great stuff. So you got a lot of work to do over the next three days. Oh man, it's going to be busy. It's you been might busy. Lose your voice. <laughs> I will lose my voice. <laughs> I definitely will lose my voice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I've been at one or two of these conferences, and and uh, it's a great atmosphere. So I'd suggest anybody in the next conference, 2019, definitely make a turn to rise. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool. So let's wind the clock back a little bit. And yep. like, what were you doing before this? So. Uh, yeah. yeah, my 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 brother and myself, we run a payments company um, back in Cape Town. Um, we've been doing payments for about three years now, um, so we have a very good understanding of the kind of payment infrastructure and, and bank grade security, um, and that translates very much into what's happening in the blockchain space and the crypto space. So um, it's not a very difficult transition, and in our private times, we are completely crypto nuts. So I think. That's also added a lot of benefit to what we're doing, essentially launching this project. Um, so yeah, we come from a payments background. We've got a very deep understanding of payments um, and that's translated into, into cryptos. Great, yeah. great. And is there anything um, on the horizon that you're looking forward to in terms of other projects or or this? I heard, yeah. I was speaking to someone else, you, you all, you have three brothers or two brothers and you're yeah, all doing so one startup? It's, it's slightly confusing because yeah. we, uh, we're two brothers with the same surname um, and our third partner, he's got the same surname even though he's not related. So um, so there seems to be a lot of fun and space in the, in the project that we run. Um, uh, my brother runs his own crypto project. He's made a good name for himself. Uh, he's been on uh, Max Kaiser Report and a few others. Uh, he's a very intelligent boy and he runs Bitfair.com. So, um, and, and we pretty much have brought two projects between three founders in-house and we collaborate uh, uh, accordingly and, and share resources. And that does help a lot. I mean, you get to learn a lot about each other and your challenges as well as the benefits of what you learn over the project. So, uh, we got a great team. We've got a, got a good dev team we're building. Uh, we've got a good advisory role and um, fundamentally and structurally wise from a funding perspective right now, we're pretty sound. So that does add a lot of validity in what we do. Great stuff. And so one of the big questions is why Hong Kong? What's, what, what made you look, like, look to Hong Kong? Um, would it be the wrong answer to say I love Macau and gambling? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, so uh, Hong Kong, I uh, enjoy Hong Kong quite a bit, but uh, I mean the RISE conference was here. Uh, next week, I think uh, starting on Monday, it's uh, blockchain week in, in Korea. Uh, so we're going to Beyond Blocks. Um, we're also heading to Singapore and then to Dubai. So we thought that uh, doing a full Asia trip would be very beneficial for us and our team, as well as our exposure to the community um, and uh, and also the investor outreach that we're doing. So yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a global play. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, if you're going to be in, in if you're going to be in Hong Kong, you might as well go to go to Korea. If you're going to be there, you might as well come here. So the, both conferences would add value to what you're doing. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. And so um, just to finish off the last question, what is the key takeaway you've gotten from the startup ecosystem here? Like what would be, like before coming here, you went yeah. on a holiday the first time. Yeah. Now you're sort of in this big buzz. You know, what would be that? Yeah, so um, I, I, th I think, and I'm only speaking for blockchain based projects right now. Um, I wish I can give great news, but there, there is a lot of smoke and mirrors in between all the good stuff. So there's some great projects. Um, there's some projects that I find very difficult to comprehend the real world value that they add. Um, and I think that's a big problem in the industry as well as a good thing because it allows for inno innovation to happen, but it also brings uh, it brings the, a, a bit of a bit of a um, untrustworthy side to the industry. And, and so I think over time, projects like Bitcoin Origin and some of the other ones I've seen here are building ways for guys to to launch credible projects. And I think that's very important. I mean, one of the services that we as blockchain as a service offering is to be able to. Um, to launch your own blockchain and launch your own project on our platform 
Um, and we have our community that vote for the projects and we do a full due diligence and KYC on, on the project itself. So any project that we launch, unlike ERC20 and Ethereum, um, is actually very well vetted to make sure that they are fundamentally sound and the, the team they have in place is structurally, um, uh, they're trustworthy essentially. Yeah, they're yeah. credible. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, definitely if you, if, if I have a look around, they, there's some really credible projects, but they, there's also some ones that I do not find real value in. And I, I think that sentiment doesn't only stretch for myself, but I think there's a lot of people within the community that does feel the same way. Awesome stuff, man. Well, yeah. um, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, we'll thanks be, for having me. Yeah, we'll be back more with uh, coming to you live from facebook.com forward slash speech silly live. And thanks to our partners, Invest HK and Start Me Up Hong Kong. Nice. Check her out. Thanks. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Catch you guys.